Brothers and sisters are moving from chemically processed and straightened hair to their natural curls, kinks, twists, twist outs, locks, kinks, rows, froze. <laughs> If you're going to go natural, you have got to fully embrace this thing 100% or else you're going to be hiding. You're going to be hiding under wigs, weaves, extensions, etc. Now, I'm not knocking these styles because they're great for versatility, but you need to question why you're doing that, doing those styles, if it's not for a change in your look. starting transitioning is that uh, they find that the hair may be unmanageable and that's simply not true um, you just need to have a lot of patience in the beginning the beginning is probably one of the hardest uh, places to start and it definitely has changed my mind about transitioning from someone that relaxes and perms their hair to someone that actually, you know, keeps it the way it's supposed to be kind of thing. So definitely, yeah, it's definitely um, changed my mind and I'm very happy that I attended this event. <laughs> in so many different forms in one place. Uh, it's hard to find that in Toronto, so it was nice to be able to have a room full of people, some knowledgeable, some not, like myself, and to be able to have a lot of conversation about that. For me, I think Toronto needs more of this event because there's so many ladies and men out there that lack the education, just like myself, on how to keep your hair natural, how to take care of it. And this is definitely um, an avenue for us to all come together and just learn from experts that have done this for so many years and for people like me that want to transition and you know have those resources that are out there, how to take care of your hair, where to go. It, it's definitely useful and you know very much needed in Toronto. And this is Toronto, there's so many, there's so many of us who have this kind of hair. So I think it would be very useful for us to know. Especially here in town because there's so many of us, so... They were never meant to divide. And so what happens is, because of the classification of hair types, one hair type is seen to be better than another. So the softer, silkier hair textures seem to be better than the coarser, quote-unquote, hair textures. The kinkier, curly textures. And this whole mindset was what I was experiencing when I took a look at my daughter's hair and took a look at my hair and I said I hate my hair. And so through education, through really learning about products, ingredients, that kind of thing and how to quote unquote manage my hair, how to bring out the best in my hair, I've been able to turn that around to I love my hair. Community is hard to find in an age where we all have smartphones. It, 
we sit at tables and text each other. So it's nice to be able to be forced to sit and make conversation um, and to be able to share experiences that we really can't share just online. Hopefully by the time I attend the next event, my hair will be totally <laughs> natural. But at the end of the day, what you need to aspire to attain is the ability to love your hair. Thank you so much for coming today. I'm very humble, very humble. Thank you.